Hey, I'm Luca Simmons, your holistic nutrition practitioner, and I'm here with a bit of information. So I have a question for you. How do you know if you have blood sugar balancing issues? Now, I want to be clear. This is not just information for those who have a type 2 diabetes diagnosis or metabolic syndrome. It's also not just for the people who are eating candy. You could be eating well, but you may be having troubles balancing your blood sugars. Let's go through a list. I've got this list coming up in just a second, but what I want you to do, grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen. And every time there's a symptom that I list and you're thinking to yourself, oh yeah, that's me, put a check mark on your paper. At the end of the very long list, <laughs> I want you to count how many checklists or how many check marks you've got. And then wherever you're watching this video, I want you to jot in the comments below how many yeses or check marks do you have on your piece of paper? Are you ready? Here we go. Do you get hangry or do you get the shakes over the course of the day? Do you have cravings? They can be sweet cravings. It can also be salty cravings. It can also be cravings for chocolate. They all indicate something different, but they are all linked to blood sugar imbalance. Do you have a stash of candy bars? For me, it was Mars bars. Or crackers or candy in your desk drawer at work or in the pantry. Do you have hormonal imbalances? Anything to do with fertility, troubles with your periods, any skin issues, any sleep issues, any testosterone issues, those kinds of things. Do you require a nap mid-afternoon? Does your energy crash between lunch and supper? Do, yeah, does your energy crash at certain times of the day? Maybe it's mid-afternoon, but also after supper or even half hour after every meal. Do you get wired and tired when supper rolls around or just after supper? Do, are you intimately acquainted with the term witching hour, that four to 5 p.m. wildness that comes like clockwork every afternoon, either yourself or in your children? <laughs> totally had that. Do you struggle with brain fog? I've already said yes to all of them so far. Do you struggle with cognitive stuff or memory? Do you have the diagnosis of PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome? Do you have type two diabetes? Oh, well, that's an obvious one. Type one diabetes as well, which is a different ball game altogether. There will be some pieces for you in the network if you are um, diagnosed with type one diabetes, but I am not necessarily the holistic nutrition practitioner for you because at that point you really need to count your macros and figure out that blood sugar balancing and insulin piece. You'll get some good foundational pieces here for sure. Do you have autoimmune issues and autoimmune diagnosis? Do you have a chronic disease? You know heart disease, um, Alzheimer's, dementia, COPD, asthma, thyroid issues, depression, anxiety, ADHD, autism, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, a chronic fatigue syndrome, those types of things. Do you know that you have inflammation or do you suspect? Do you feel stress keenly? Are you the person who jumps and scares easily? <laughs> you know, that sort of reaction where people are like, whoa, whoa, that's too much. Pipe down over there. Mm. Do, have people told you or do you sense that people walk on eggshells around you? Yeah, only compassion, honey. I am that person. Unfortunately for my sweet family who my adore. Do you wake up in the middle of the night making all of the lists or do you wake up in the middle of the night remembering all the things that went wrong your entire life? They call it memory mattress, <laughs> memory foam for a reason. All of the memories live in there and they infuse into your brain at three o'clock in the morning, right? No. Uh, are you the person who can't go without snacks during the day? Do you wake up more tired than when you went to bed? Are you a chronic worrier? Do you have any type of thyroid issues, whether they are diagnosed or not, or you wonder or you question hypothyroid uh, graves? Hashimoto's. Do you take Synthroid? I have clients. It's so interesting to me. I have clients who, when I ask, all right, so has anybody talked to you about your thyroid? No, nope, my thyroid's fine. Then we get to the questions of, okay, what medications are you on? Well, I'm on Synthroid. Oh, Synthroid is for thyroid stuff. 
Well, I don't know. My doctor gave it to me. So they never told me it was for, for thyroid. They just gave me Synthroid. So if you're taking Synthroid, you have thyroid troubles. Levothyroxine is another name for it. Uh, other stuff. Do you have Candida? <laughs> Blood sugar balancing issues, honey. Is your metabolism off? Do you have a uh, hard time staying warm? Do you have a hard time with the output of energy? Do you have cold hands, cold feet? Do you have weight gain where you're like, I eat less than my husband. How come he runs hot like a furnace and I'm cold all the time and I eat half of what he does and I'm heavier than he is? Uh, that is the scenario in our house. <laughs> my body's also trying to protect me, by the way. Have you been diagnosed with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? That is all blood sugar balancing sugar. The only, this was me, uh, the only thing that brings you back to earth is red meat. This is how it was for me. I'd be the person where I would eat what society told me was the thing to eat when it was in the 1990s. I would eat my, you know, special K cereal with skim milk for breakfast. God forbid we get fat. I would eat my salad with skinless chicken at lunch or a can of tuna because isn't that really healthy? And then by two o'clock, I would be ready to punch my boss in the throat and not answer her questions because I was done with the day. And it was with my pregnant friend, Nadine, who was a coworker at the time, where we would figure out at two o'clock, I would go down with her because I couldn't function. And we go down and we would get a Big Mac at two o'clock every afternoon, like clockwork. And it was the one thing that brought me back to earth. I felt like my body was separating, like my mind was separating from my body and it was shaking. <laughs> I couldn't function. I couldn't think. I felt like I was in the clouds and my body was on the ground and I was losing that connection. And when I ate red meat, that forced me to come back into my body. Is this you? Do you skip breakfast? Have you tried intermittent fasting? Felt really great for some time and now you feel like crap. How is that intermittent fasting working for you? There is a blood sugar balancing component there and intermittent fasting has great results short term. Long term has the potential of setting you up for blood sugar balancing issues. I will not help you through intermittent fasting. I will not help you off of intermittent fasting, but when you're off of it and you've got things figured out, then I am the person for you after that. Mm -hmm. Are you the person who relies on coffee, green tea, or sodas or cola to get you through the day or Mountain Dew, which has a lot of caffeine in it? Do you crave carbs all the live long day? Do you think about pasta all day? Do you eat two sleeves of the Oreo cookies from the pantry because you could not help yourself? Are you the person at four o'clock when you get home from work, you can't help but open the bag of chips and salsa? Are you the person who at eight o'clock at night, you've been working so hard and then you feel like you lost your willpower and you ate the entire bag of chips watching Netflix? Honey, that is not a willpower question. That is a, you've been in blood sugar troubles all day long and look at you choosing to survive in the moment. Zero shaming, zero tisk, tisk, tisk. Only deep comprehension of what your body's asking for. And how about instead of going, don't eat that bag of chips, get your willpower together. How about instead we say, oh, do you want to know why you need that bag of chips? Because if you don't eat it, your body perceives you're going to die. How about we get you to the point where your body doesn't perceive you're going to die? The way you're eating is not serving you right now. Let's shift it. And the pieces to shift it is what we're talking about in the Good Food Network this month. Uh, do you get headaches? Do you have histamine issues? I'm seeing this more and more. Histamine is my specialty. It's what I see mostly in my clients and I have it myself. When you're struggling with histamine issues for many of us, there is a blood sugar regulation issue that stokes histamine and makes it worse. Do you struggle with mood or anxiety? Do you feel like you're on a roller coaster over the course of the day? And this can be in a couple of different ways. Are you on a roller coaster of emotions over the course of the day? Are you like our emotions, your superpower? That's how I like to think of it. Are you on a roller coaster of energy over the course of the day? Yeah, I feel really good. Oh my God, I need a nap. Are you on a roller coaster with brain function and sort of cognitive capacity where like 
I can get my work done at 9 a.m. and I'm really good and I am on it. And then when lunch hits, like, uh, is that you? Yeah. So roller coaster of either emotions, energy, or mental capacity. Do you have adrenal stuff on the go? Sugar, there's a blood sugar piece to this that is stoking the fires. Yeah. Do you sport the best muffin top in town? I do. So sorry, no one else is going to say yes to that but me. <laughs> Do you have high blood pressure or high cholesterol? Or has anybody told you, ooh, your arteries are thinning because they are thickening with that plaque. You've got plaque deposits or what they call the official term is atherosclerosis. Blood pressure, high cholesterol, atherosclerosis. I'm going to add to this cataracts. I'm going to add to this Alzheimer's and dementia. Uh, these are all the end result of blood sugar imbalance issues that have been going on for too long. I'm going to add to this as well, gout. Do you struggle with any of these? Does your immune system struggle and get hit with all the things? Are you the person who gets all of the flus and you have a hard time and your spouse does not? Oh, apparently I'm just talking about myself today. <laughs> Do your skin wounds heal slowly? Oh, look, the first, actually the second one that I don't have. I have all the others. So really, I should really call myself a blood sugar balancing holistic nutrition practitioner because that is apparently everything that I need to do for myself. All right, so that is a long list. So if you need a screen grab of this, I'm gonna, build, I'm gonna scroll back up. So if you need a screen grab, go ahead and take a screen grab of this, either with your phone or on your device where you're watching. So you've got this list here. Let's go to the bottom of the list and you can do another screen grab if you need to. These, and I haven't even put them all on there, add to this gout, cataracts, Alzheimer's, and dementia. These are all uh, long, or if you have cardiovascular disease, if you've had heart attacks, these are all blood sugar balancing has a piece to play in all of this. Okay, friend, look at your list. Count your check marks. How many you got? I dare say if you have more than two of the items on that list, then this is a call actually from the body to start to do some of that work to balance your blood sugars. Okay, that's nice, but oh, Luca, I don't even know where to start. Okay, I have some solutions to get you started already. First of all, awareness is key. I think there's this misnomer and this misunderstanding that blood sugar balancing is just for people who have diabetes. Glucose is for everyone. Your body's preferred source of fuel is glucose. To use other sources of fuel, it's really quite energy dependent and has the potential of stealing from other things if other stuff is on the go. And by other stuff, I mean inflammation. So blood sugar balancing is a very fine-tuned mechanism in the body that requires a lot of different moving pieces for it to work. And when it doesn't work, the body's going to compensate and kind of pull in where she can to keep you alive for the longest amount of time possible. If you said yes to any of these symptoms, friend, your body's been asking for some help for a long time. If this is December 2022, know this. We are talking about blood sugar balancing in the Good Food Network all month long. So find some details there. I've dropped a, a link here below in this video. Now, if we're past December 2022, know that I have a lot of different pieces to help you. I have some standalone classes. I work one-on-one -on -one with clients. It's different for each person, so sometimes it's a bit tricky to find your way. I do have some really great starter things, though, to get you started, from recipe programs to all kinds of ways to help you know how to help yourself. Because someday you got to fire me. And you got to look after yourself. This is the manual of how to look after yourself. That's what I'm proposing. So reach out, get in touch, or drop a comment below. I'll see the comment and I'll be able to get in touch with you. In the meantime, I am a big believer in real food for the win. So go play with your food and I look forward to seeing you somewhere along the way so that we can get your blood sugars in check so you can live your best life. <laughs>